post it. Now what I'm going to do is quickly submit a response for this quiz. So this is quiz one that uh, is going to appear on the student site. So the student accesses the quiz. So I'm going to quickly fill in the answers. So this is my email ID. Here I'll give my name. Okay, now I'm going to randomly just select some answers. So let's say I select this and then let's say I select some wrong answers and here I say create food for the plant and here I write something related to Robinson Crusoe and I click on submit right so my assignment has been submitted now if i go on to the teachers part how do i access the answers so i click on this you can see it shows one turned in and zero assigned as so there was just one student which was me i have submitted the assignment so it shows one and zero assigned because there are no more students left now here you can see I can assign total marks and once I do so, I can just send an email to the corresponding student. Okay, so this is how this works. Now if I want to see what are the answers of the students, what I just need to do is go to the quiz. go to the responses okay now whoever would have submitted this you can see a summary here so I actually submitted this quiz twice so you can see two responses right okay now if you would like to store these responses, what you just have to do is click on download responses. Now with this, what you get is a CSV file. Which would contain the name of the student and it would contain the corresponding answers of the student. And corresponding score that has been assigned now this is the score that has been assigned from the system itself from the values you specified of course we are going to monitor this manually now so I hope this is easy and understood if you want to create a spreadsheet here you can simply create a spreadsheet give it a name that you would like and say create So with this what happens is you create a response and student spreadsheet here so that you can store the responses. This spreadsheet will be stored in your Google Drive. So you can definitely keep this for later reference. Now if you move on to the question tab you can see all the questions are being displayed along with their answers now if you go to the individual tab you will be able to see the individual scores all right so this is it in the next video i'm going to explain you how to release the scores to the students